What if there was a place in Adelaide that you might not have explored? It's one of the tallest spots closest to the Adelaide Hills and the Adelaide region. This is a little tour of Mount Lofty Summit. Welcome everybody to this episode of Drew's Adventures. Something a little bit different for everyone today. We're going to be having a look at the incredible region and tourist hotspot of Mount Lofty Summit. So here I am walking this little trail. It was a very wet and cold wintry day, but um, there is so much to see in this area. And a lot of this foliage that you see is native. It is native to South Australia and to the Adelaide Hills region. And in winter, to me, it really comes alive. There is so much undergrowth, so much moss and lichen growing on trees and around the bases of trees. There are little mushrooms to see. There are these giant gum trees like this one here that even though their bases are dead, there is still life growing through them. When you go walking on these trails, just be really sure to wear some good footwear, especially in the winter months because the ground is so saturated and the soil is very sandy. So there is a chance that you might go head over tip if you do uh, go sliding and that wouldn't be very fun. But you can see here some of the beautiful native foliage on the right, we have some bracken ferns here. And if we look closely there, you'll see just how clear the water is as it runs along this little path. It's just beautiful. Thank you. 
Did you know that Indigenous Australians used bracken fern for ant bites, scorpion stings, spider bites, and other itchies in the bush? What they would do is break the little fronds open and rub it onto the site of the sting or bite. And it will take away the sting and the itchiness caused by any venom. Now, on the earlier part of this little walk, you might have noticed that particular sign, the little sign with the red and white trail marker on it. That is actually an indicator that you are walking on the Hyson or Hayson trail, depending on how you want to say it. It is probably one of the longest trails in South Australia. It stretches for 1,200 kilometres from Cape Jarvis in the southern region of Adelaide, near Victor Harbour and Kangaroo Island, all the way up to the northern Flinders Ranges. As you can imagine, the Hyson Trail takes you through quite a number of different types of landscape and different terrain, some of it being very mountainous, some of it being much flatter. It's probably one of those trails that one day when I get to retirement age, I would really love to do the entire thing from start to finish. There are a number of camping spots as well along the trail, as well as shelter huts. One of the most incredible sites at Mount Lofty is Carmine House and Tower. This mansion was built in 1885 for Sir Thomas Elder, one of the people credited with bringing camels into Australia. It was built with gas lighting, had showers, bathrooms, and even had flushing toilets. Later on, it was owned by Sir Langdon Benython, who was a proprietor of the early advertiser newspaper. It stands today as a privately owned residence, but it's a reminder of just how British some of the early colonial settlers were in South Australia. Here is the entrance to the Mount Lofty Summit Information and the Summit Cafe and Function Centre. So the day that I picked to explore Mount Lofty Summit and Cafe was really, really wintry, cold and wet. But nevertheless, this part of the Australian bush is absolutely beautiful. Here I am here walking up the main roadway and pathway to the summit. Now Mount Lofty Summit has played not just a role in terms of tourism, but also it's a really important spot for fire prevention in the Mount Lofty Ranges in the Adelaide Hills. 
there's actually a fire lookout tower still in operation to this day just alongside the Mount Lofty Summit gift shop and the restaurant. You can't see it in this video, but it is there. It provides a sweeping view of the Adelaide Hills and the Adelaide Plains and can be used by the Country Fire Service to alert people and regional fire brigades of fires that might be uncontrolled or at risk of being uncontrolled in the Adelaide Hills and Adelaide Plains region. When you come to Mount Lofty Summit, you will see these signs in several places as you walk up to the summit. Now, the really important thing is that Southern Brown Bandicoots call Mount Lofty and the Mount Lofty Rangers their home. So these animals look a little bit like a rat, but they're a bit larger and they have a longer nose. At this point, I was getting really, really wet as I walked into the entrance of the Mount Lofty Summit Information and Summit Cafe area. We'll have a look at the gift shop in a minute, but let's be a little bit brave. Let's go outside as quite a rainstorm was coming through. The rain and the wind here was so intense, I really couldn't go out any further. But this huge tower here, which marks the highest point at 710 metres above sea level, was built in 1885 and it was used for surveying purposes for the Adelaide region. So I decided to come back inside and have a look at the Mount Lofty Summit gift shop. This place has quite a treasure trove of clothes, books, crafts, and homemade items that are just quintessentially Australian. Many of them are actually sourced from local artists here in Adelaide and artists right across Australia. After having a look at the information centre, I wandered across to the Summit Cafe and Function Centre it can close early if the weather is bad, so just be aware of that. But otherwise, a great place to grab a snack or a drink and take in the views of Adelaide from Mount Lofty. And now for the long walk back to the car. Well, it's not really that long actually, but it was so windy and so wet on this day, it made it quite a bit of fun.
Well, I tell you what, everyone, I was so glad to be back in the car. Even though it was seven outside, I cranked my heater right up, as you can see. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Drew's Adventures. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and feel free to share it. Take care, everyone, and bye for now.